Welcome to SwitchSmart. SwitchSmart was developed for the engineering and electronic service tech community that are in academia or new to the electronic industry. When looking at a switch's data or spec sheet, you've likely come across the term contact resistant. Well, what does that mean? The overall concept for the term contact resistance is pretty basic. We'll get into that, but first, what are contacts? Contacts connect the flow of electricity between multiple devices. They can be found on a myriad of things such as switches, breakers, relays, and much more. Contact resistance is just as it sounds. It's the amount of resistance to the flow of electricity between one contact to another. The amount of resistance could vary depending on the surface conditions of the contacts, like dirt, rust, or corrosion. We can visualize this by imagining water flowing through a funnel. The water being the electrical current and the funnel the contacts. Water flows through easily with minimal resistance. If we add another obstacle to the funnel, the flow of water has more resistance and slows down. If we add too many obstacles, the water will start to overflow. It's important to know contact resistance in order to maintain contacts and ensure proper use, especially when it comes to high current loads. For example, the contacts in your home circuit breaker should be checked periodically to ensure it's functioning properly. Poorly maintained or damaged contacts could lead to arcing. This is when a circuit becomes overloaded and the electrical current flows through the air from one conductive point to another. This could result in fire or an electric shock. This is obviously an extreme example and it's important to understand that throughout a switch's life, contact resistance tends to go up. It's only natural for silver contacts to slowly tarnish over time. Now, let's take a look at how this is written on a datasheet. If we look at the specifications, this particular tack switch has a contact resistance of 50 milliohms max initial at 2 to 4 VDC, whereas this one says 100 milliohms max typical at 2 to 4 VDC. Typical means because environmental conditions can play such a huge role in changes in contact resistance, whether that be in high humidity areas by the coast with increased salt in the air. The word typical is used to factor in these varying conditions, giving a typical contact resistance. Whereas initial refers to the brand new switch as it shipped out the factory door. Overall, contact resistance varies depending on the type of switch and the application. Thank you for watching. Go to eswitch.com to watch more of the Switch Mart series. Feel free to comment as well as share Switch Mart with all your colleagues. Maybe you have a suggestion for the next Switch Mart topic. Our ears are always open. Thanks again.